Hi everyone, Steph here. Thanks so much for stopping by. So today is Wednesday and it's my turn on Where Ideas Bloom blog. I'll have their link in the description box below to the blog and the store. So head over when you're done with the video <laughs> and look around the store. So for my project today, I've used this paper pad from Die Cuts with a View, the Garden Tea Party Stack. Love this paper! Okay, so I was hoarding it for a while, but I'm done hoarding it. I'm going to be creating um, a mini album with it. And um, hopefully one day I could get another pack. So, But I love this pack because I love the the vintage feel, the bronze, the creams, and the, the peachy pink tone. Love it. And it has glitter. So I've used this. I did a lot of fussy cutting from this paper pad. And oh, I did not, um, the album, I will share that later on. Hopefully this week or next week. But so yes, you're looking at the back. It's not that pretty, but I wanted to share with you because I forgot to take a picture of it. And I don't know if you all saw my design team package. So um, this is what I use from Where Ideas Bloom and it's an MDF wood frame and if you could see the silhouette of a teapot so hence why I use that paper pad so um, yeah it's a teapot frame and it's a very thick um, piece and it's not heavy but it's really nice so uh, this is the back and this is my topper for my mini album cover that's why I did not finish the back and I paint the edges and you see all my mess in the back there so and this is um, the front absolutely love it and there is a silhouette of the teapot so what I did is I traced on the one of the designer paper which was a um, cream like tea splashes on it and I traced the frame um, cut it out and then I used my I just use a, a nail file, like a nail, nail emery board, and I file around the edges to smooth out everything. And um, yeah, then I've used this stamp and die set um, by Sizzix for Graphic 45 Hampton Arts. Love this tea time stamp and die set. Um, sorry for the glare. So you'll be seeing a lot of this as well in the mini album. So I use that. And what I like with the stamp and die set is that I could create my own chipboard-like embellishment, which I love to do. So here you could see, I've used it there, and the, it's I did several layers, so it's really nice. It's like chipboard, if you could hear that. So I did it here, and the spoon, and the teacup here with the saucer. I love it. So <clears throat> at the top... I have a piece of doily because what's tea without doily? Um, so I cut a piece of paper doily there and stuck it behind there. I have, I'm not sure if you could see all that shine, but um, I use a lot of glossy accent. I color in some of the flourish there and put some dots, just some decoration, some color. And all these are fussy cut, a lot of fussy cut there. So this as well is fussy cut. Like I said, this is a die cut. This is also a fussy cut. And on the piece sticking out, I have glossy accent just to keep them sturdy from damage, whatnot. So a little birdie out here. If you can see that little birdie there. And here. And I love this sentiment. Life is a cup of tea. This is nice. So there, a little birdie as well. A lot of fussy cutting, guys. So also from where it is bloom are these fabric um bloom orange tone bloom flowers that you could create your own flower and i love creating them dimensional dimensional so what i did is um i took one of the layer and i popped it inside out is that correct or outside in <laughs> anyway when you do that the leaves turns up the petals sorry turn up so it's dimensional love it put some pearl in the center there so um, all the die cuts I have like chipboard piece and I have a stamp flowers in the to border the sentiment and I have liquid pearl I'm not sure if you could see it 
because I'm having a glare, so I'm not seeing well what you're seeing. Um, I have some liquid pearl to give the flowers some color. So you will be seeing this on a cover of a mini album soon, and um, I hope you like it. So check out Where Ideas Bloom Store. They have all kinds of crafting embellishment and uh, MDF wood pieces and frames and all types of stuff. So go and check them out and uh, let me know what you think of my project. Thank you so much for watching, commenting, and subscribing. And I'll see you guys soon. Take care, guys. Bye.